after all these months and months of work and connecting with former classmates, how does it feel for this project to be done and to have the book in hand? It feels fabulous. Um, the printer was a week behind schedule and we had a deadline and I was very stressed out. And when I had the book in hand, two things. One, I was very grateful and two, I thought the book looked terrific. And you never know until you actually hold it in your hands and I was thrilled. I was so excited to hold it in my hands. Claudia he had showed us on Zoom what it looked like, but just to have it there. And I started to read it. Um, most people have read it all the way through, but I read it so many times when I was copy reading it that I'm afraid I'll find something wrong with it. <laughs> so so I, I, um, I just really uh, haven't read everybody's so far um, again, because uh, frankly, I know I know the articles very well, and I, I'm just, I am just so um, happy with the reactions that we've had to the book and how much everybody has enjoyed it and um, just really praised it, you know, in their comments to us. So it's, um, it's exciting. And I, I think particularly because we did it during the pandemic, it, it just, um, it just feels like an accomplishment rather than to have just um, sat back and not done something of significance. This is a significant thing and it was wonderful to accomplish it. As the, as the articles came in, uh, those of us who are the wild girls were reading them and um, it, it affected me that so many people were so completely honest about their feelings and about um, their lives and the good things and the bad things. But one of the most uh, interesting parts is that even though some of these people I've known for 60 years, they said a lot of things in these essays that they had never said out loud before. And the one that, that really uh, moved me the most was um, the essay by Tim Metz, where his wife, uh, he told us that his uh, wife, who he has right now, because his first wife passed away, actually um, adopted his children who were in their 20s when they were when Tim and Jerry were married and I thought that was so cool that she would do that and uh, it's still every time I talk about it it moves me because I think it's just a beautiful thing the title that I had originally suggested the tie that binds was based on Marquette being Marquette journalism education being the tie that has bound us together for these 60 plus, actually it's 64 years, because we all started as freshmen. And Gloria, I don't know if you heard this story, but Larry is organizing like she always does so beautifully, a reunion in September, a physical reunion of as many of our classmates who can attend. And in the course of talking about that, Gloria told us yesterday or the other day, that someone had asked her to sing, as she does in liturgies, a song called the tithe, Blessed Be the Tithe That Binds. And she was not familiar with the song. And of course, I wasn't either. And I actually Googled, because of course we know Google knows everything. Um, I Googled the lyrics of the song. And the lyrics were so appropriate for us the person who wanted this song really had nothing to do with us, Gloria. Is that right? Right. But, but the lyrics of the song, I think, in most cases, could have been written about us. And the fact that all these years we have hung together and in varying times and degrees, sometimes closer, sometimes further away, but the fact that we all maintained that Marquette tie which has bound us together is more meaningful than almost anything else I can tell you.